Welcome to the Arena tutorial video. The goal of this video is to introduce you to the Arena software product. Arena is a business process simulation software package. Simulation is a tool for creating a model of your system on the computer to allow for experimentation without negatively impacting the real system. Discrete event simulation can help you to analyze systems with high variability or internal system interactions that can be difficult to model with spreadsheet tools. Arena is the leader in discrete event simulation products with over 30 years of established success in various industries, such as manufacturing, defense, healthcare, services, and supply chain and logistics. Arena can be used to model and test many different types of operations, including production throughput, downtime recovery, inventory management, staffing, schedule testing, resource utilization, batch and continuous processes, Kanban, policy planning, Lean Six Sigma, supply chain, push-pull operations, AGVs, and just-in-time operations. There are two editions of ARENA available. ARENA Standard Edition includes the Basic Process, Advanced Process, and Advanced Transfer Panel. Standard Edition allows the user to model most systems, along with capturing key data measures and visualizing the data results during the model run through 3D animation and business dashboards. Professional Edition offers additional tools for simulating more complex systems. It has all the capabilities of Standard Edition, along with assignment blocks and elements, the flow process and packaging templates, and custom template creation tools. Arena products are available for either purchase or lease. For more information about obtaining Arena software, contact Arena Sales at arena-info at ra.rockwell.com. For international sales, please go to www.arenasimulation.com. Click on Contact Us to find a link for the listing of Arena Partners so you may find the right representative for your country. Now we'll create a very simple model of a fast food restaurant during lunch. We'll start by bringing in a Create module. The Create module generates entities for the system. In our system, the entities will represent our customers. Our customers arrive approximately every two minutes. We'll also change the picture used to represent our customers in the animation to be a person, so it will be more accurate. Next, we'll add our cashiers into the model using the resource under the data modules. We'll define our cashiers as our cashiers, and we'll define them as a capacity of three because for our purposes, they're identical. We can also define costing information if we choose. Now we use another logic module, the process module, for our customers to grab a cashier, place their order, and finish with the cashier. In arena terms, we seize our resource, the cashier, delay to complete our transaction, and then release the cashier so that he or she is available again. Transactions take anywhere from two to four minutes, so we'll use a uniform distribution to define the transaction time. After our customers have their food, we don't need to worry about them for the purposes of our simulation, so we will send them to a dispose module to exit them from the simulation. Now we're ready to run our model. Under Run Setup, we'll define the length of our simulation as three hours and the number of replications that we want to run. Replications are like samples. We want to make sure that we have enough so that our results are statistically significant. We can run our model and watch the customers move through our system. Customers who arrive at the restaurant to find all the cashiers busy will have to wait in the queue for a cashier to become available. Once the run is complete, we can view the reports that Arena automatically generates to see how our system performed. We can look at our key statistics, such as average waiting time, average number of customers waiting, and utilization of our cashiers. The model we've developed so far is a very basic one. We can add additional complexity by adding resources to the model to also track the utilization of the dining room. To do this, we'll need to know what sizes the parties are to understand how many chairs they will need. First, we'll add an assign module to assign the number of customers in the party. We'll assign this value to an attribute of the entity. Attribute values are set for each individual entity. Changing the attribute value of one entity does not affect the other entities in the model. We'll use a discrete distribution to determine the party size. 30% will be parties of one, 40% parties of two, and 30% will be parties of three. Now that our parties have defined sizes, our next step will be to define our dining room as a resource. We'll give it a capacity of 50 since we have 50 chairs. In Arena, we have the option to enter parameters either using the dialog box or directly in the spreadsheet view. Now we'll add in a new process module to represent the customers using the dining room resource. One key difference with this process module is that we will need to seize the same number of resource units as we have members in our party. This will ensure that each member of the party has a chair. 
To do this, we'll use the party size attribute in the quantity field. If we can't remember the name, we can always use Arena's expression builder to look it up. Our customers typically take 20 minutes to eat, but may eat in as little as 10 minutes or may take as long as 45, so we'll use the triangular distribution. It turns out that 25% of our customers ask for their food to go and will not need to use the dining room. To account for this, we will use the Decide module. 75% of our customers will use the dining room and then leave the simulation. The other 25% will exit as soon as they receive their food. For our final example in this demonstration, we'll walk through a completed version of the model with more complexities added. To start, we've added stations to represent the different areas within the model and routes to transfer our customers between those stations. Customers now order and then wait in a separate area to receive their order. The time needed to fulfill their order will be based on their party size and a uniform distribution. After they place their order, a separate module creates a new separate entity to represent the order itself. The kitchen can only work on five orders at once. Any others will have to wait. Once the order is done, it will be reunited with the customer in the batch module. We'll use the batch by attribute rule to make sure that the customers and the orders are put back together correctly. 2% of the orders will have an issue, causing the customers to have to return to the counter in order to have it fixed. These customers will need a cashier resource to help address the issue. They'll have a higher priority for the cashiers than the new orders. By using the same cashier resource, we'll have the two streams of customers competing for the same resource in the model. Adding in the stations has also allowed us to add in additional animation features so that we can show our customers moving around the model and in between different areas. Once we've completed the model run, we can look at the statistics for our newly added resources of the dining room and the kitchen. This is just a quick overview of what Arena can do. If you can describe your system and flowchart it, you can model it in Arena.